Now, nostalgia and history. A piece of Connecticut history is coming back to life. We're talking about the Isle of Safety. So what is that? With us here to talk about that is Sally Whipple of the Old State House and Mike Speciale of the Connecticut Trolley Museum. And we thank you both for being here on the program today. So uh, the Isle of Safety, because it's been gone for a long, long time. What exactly is it? Who wants well, to take this? You know, in 1913, uh, the Isle of Safety stood, as you can see from the uh, slide behind me, it stood at State House, where State House Square is now, right alongside the uh, old State House. It's right over your shoulder, as a matter of yeah, fact, as you it, speak. Yeah, it was a waiting station for people waiting for their trolleys. Okay. So that whole area was sort of like I describe it as the outdoor Grand Central Station of Hartford. And it left in the 70s? It was taken away in the 70s? Well, it started in 1913. It, it disappeared in 1976. Uh, it, uh, the area was paved over. Uh, it was saved. And we're very fortunate that it got saved. And it did get transported to uh, the Connecticut Trolley Museum in East Windsor, and uh, uh, it got put up in 1986. And now it's being restored. And now Sally, I want to ask you, because one of the big questions is, why isn't it going to be in Hartford? Well, there's just no way to put it back in Hartford where it was. Okay. So I think the Trolley Museum has made a wonderful decision to put an outline of the Isle of Safety where the Isle of Safety used to be, and a sign that tells people what it was and shows some of these pictures about what it looked like. What did it cost to get this whole thing restored? What's it? Uh, this is about a $175,000 project. We're sort of $110,000 into it. So as Sally said, you know, uh, yeah, we did the outline. So this is wonderful. Right now that we dedicated this last week, you can go to State House Square and outlined in the brick pavers and the walkway is the silhouette of the Isle of Safety along with an outdoor pictorial exhibit. You can imagine what the area looked like. You can stand right where it stood. And uh, so we've really commemorated it in Hartford. That's very important that people don't forget. Uh, it brings back a lot of fond memories. The good news is, in December of last year, thanks with, with your help as honorary chairman, we kicked off the campaign to both commemorate the Isle of Safety in Hartford and to actually restore the structure at the Trolley Museum in East Windsor. That work started just a few days ago. From a design point of view, why don't we see more replicas of these or something like it out there today when they build new bus stops? Well, you know, I mean, there are all these new modern things. There are these bus shelters with the glass and all that. The great thing about the Isle of Safety, it was an architectural gem. Uh, the, it had a terracotta tile roof. Uh, the, the, in fact, what's amazing, as we restore it, the company that built the terracotta tiles back in 1913 is still in business. They're making the same tiles the same color. So when this gets restored, you're going to see this is going to be just like it was. We have the blueprints. We're going to refurbish it to the way it was. So it's, it's going to be just perfect. And what about the relationship between the Trolley Museum and the Old State House? Well, the, the Trolley Museum has started this project, and we've been really happy to support it. It is so wonderful to see this um, attention put on the Isle of Safety right at the Old State House. They were neighbors for so many years, and I think they're both kind of whimsical structures in a way, so they made a good pairing. But it's hard to help people imagine what it was like back then. People who haven't seen the streets go through there um, can't imagine what it was like. So the pictures help, the outline helps. I remember it as a kid going to the Isle of Safety, and I always thought it was kind of a magical place, but it's hard to get that sense across now. When we had Governor Lamont on here not too long ago, he was saying that tourism is one of his new priorities. He wants to really beef up tourism in Connecticut. What yep. role can the Trolley Museum play? Well, it can play a big role. First of all, uh, I'm very happy to be involved with the Trolley Museum, and it's an architectural, uh, well, the Isle of Safety is an architectural gem. The Trolley Museum is also a gem. It's a cultural, historical gem. It's part of uh, our social fabric and our history. Uh, I worked for many, many years at the New England Air Museum. I was fortunate to work with a lot of really great people, and I think we uh, developed that into a world-class facility. The Connecticut Trolley Museum is the oldest incorporated trolley museum in the United States of America. It's been overlooked. Uh, we have great potential, and I think we're kicking off our, our, our work to support the volunteers and all the great work they do with the aisle. It will be right there. And the great thing, the great thing is that it's going to be used for its original purpose. We operate trolleys. When you want to go get a new trolley, you're going to go stand under the aisle of safety, wait for your trolley. So this is where it's at. So It's going to be pretty cool, yeah, when it's all done. I just want people to go on the website. Take a look, we've got the section, and please, we still need some money to finish the project. 
And if you're interested in contributions, it tells you how to do it or how to talk with me as the development chairman. I'd be happy to review it with you. And we have the link on our website as well. And Sally, I want to ask you about the old state house's role in the future of tourism because there's been some criticism about the old state house. We hear that it's it's out of money, and then it closes, and it's back, and here it is. It's it's it remains closed on Sundays though, which is a big shock to people right. who come here to see the historic spots in Hartford. Will, well, will that change at all? I think that will change. We are looking at expanded hours now and actually we're taking on the role as officials, um, Hartford's official welcome center. So we'll be doing a ribbon cutting for that next Friday. And I love the idea of the trolley museum connection to the old state house in this so that we can, we, we feel part of our work is to send people out to other places in Hartford and in the area so that they can see all that Connecticut has to offer. So. This is a great way for us to point people in the direction of the trolley museum as well as other places. But we also love to welcome people into the old state house. And we do have um, a very lively time there. We do a farmer's market twice a week, um, outdoor concerts. We have visitors, school groups, all kinds of programs. So it's been pretty lively. There are some cities that still have trolleys. Mike, do you see that coming back at all? So, can I, get um, I don't know. I don't know. I, Why did they disappear? You, you, pardon me? Why did they disappear, trolleys? Why did they disappear? Well, they disappeared because uh, we, we had buses. You know, uh, we had to lay down the trolley tracks, and there were certain places they go. You've got a lot more mobility with buses. Uh, I'd love to see trolleys back. It's such a thrill to go to the trolley museum and ride these trolleys, many of which are now over 100 years old. Great experience. We'll have to check it out. All yep. right. Mike Speciali. And Sally Whipple, the Old State House, and the Connecticut Trolley Museum in Thank East, you, Dennis. East Windsor. Thank you so much for being on the program today. You're welcome. Thank you. Finally today. So last week was the 50th anniversary of Woodstock. Of course, the original concert took place in upstate New York, but a celebration was held in our own Woodstock, Woodstock, Connecticut. And there was a battle of the bands. Governor Lamont actually sang, and State Senator George Logan channeled Jimi Hendrix and his famous performance at Woodstock in 1969 with his own version of the Star Spangled Banner. Thanks for watching today. Have a great Sunday.